Hey, this is Mega here. So I'm gonna go over the kind of the timetable that uh, for for me getting the battery. Like I said, it took about two months, but we can take a look at when I ordered it. Um, actually, I have it. I have it on my phone. I actually put what day I ordered what, so I can track how long uh, how long this stuff is taking. Okay, so this is the kind of packing. Um, this is the email that I got with the tracking number and all that stuff, and it does say direct signature required now on the box it didn't say anywhere but but on the thing it did so i don't know how they got away with just leaving it at my front door so i'm a little disappointed in that um i would have liked to have signed it so to make sure that my 1800 or yeah my 1800 dollar battery gets to me you know <laughs> it's a very it's a high dollar item is what i want to say okay so there's that all right here's my phone um so let's fast forward or let's rewind actually Let's rewind to February here, and here I have ordered the NXT display, and then two days later I ordered the Lightspeed battery on February 4th. Okay, so okay, so let's count the weeks here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven weeks. I'd say that's about that's about two months. So if you order a uh, a battery from Lightspeed, um, you can expect it to take up to two months for it to get to you. Maybe even more or less, depending on how busy it is. Um, so, um, but uh, but I have to say, um, Christopher emailed me a couple times, and I emailed him. I think I might have emailed him twice. Uh, I might have emailed him three times. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I emailed him before I ordered the battery and asked him how long would it take, and he said it would it could take two weeks. <laughs> he said two weeks, okay. So uh, so he said two weeks, and it takes a week to ship to you. It takes like four or five days from it to get from the east coast to the west coast, um, and that that's true. Um, it takes about five days ish, um, and then. Uh, and yeah, so did that happen? Uh, no, because two weeks turned into like five or six weeks, man. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it there was like five extra weeks. So, um, but I had emailed him and I asked him. I think I emailed him like maybe yeah after like two weeks. I asked him, hey, so uh, what's the status of my thingy? And he's saying like, uh, um, he was saying he it's hard for him to get some of the parts because they're coming from China, and. Um, and like stuff from coming from China is taking a while to get here because of this whole coronavirus pandemic outbreak thing. So, so that's so I can understand that. Okay, so uh, that's probably what slowed it down. Um, and then fast forward a couple weeks later, I think I I made a I may have emailed him again asking, hey, what's going on? And he said like, uh, your uh, your batteries are. Uh, I'm not going to go over the emails, but I'm just, I'm just I'm going to tell you right now. Um, he. The email said uh, he he was working on my battery right now. Like his, he's he's working on a, on the batch of for where where my battery was. So he's got like he's working on a lot of batteries. So <laughs> he's got a little factory going on at home. Is what I want to say. Uh, um, anyway, uh, yeah. So he's got a he he said he was working on my battery that week. So um, and then the week after, I think he I think it was saying. Um, I don't know. I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Uh, and that's the, that's the last I heard from him. And then uh, and then the week after, a week goes by, and then the, and then the next week comes, and I get a, a FedEx tracking number from um, saying that my battery's been shipped. So that's how you know the battery's um, your battery is done, is when you get a um, an email from FedEx with a tracking number from Lightspeed Bikes. And then, uh, and also his website, he actually updated the thing saying like, hey, it, 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 it's exactly like the ERT website. Um, it says awaiting fulfillment. That means it, it, the, the product is like, it's not ready. And, and I can understand like a battery is like a very custom made part. Like uh, 
I kind of have I kind of have an idea how to build a battery, you know, but I've never built a battery like that big with that many cells with it. I used to build RC car batteries way back when when we still had NICADs, <laughs> okay? Um, and it's a lot it's a lot different now. They got like these little they got these little plastic holders for the batteries and stuff and then like you can buy like a a little welder, a spot welder. Um, I never use a spot welder. I just use these like kind of like soldering wicks or like little battery bars and I just I soldered them straight onto the battery and it was so annoying you have to like scrape the surface of the of the battery so the so the solder will stick to it you know that kind of stuff um, but uh, but you're you're talking about like six or seven cells versus like I don't know how many cells are in there. I don't know how many cells are in there but there must be a lot dude um, yeah, it's it's uh, that's a very it's like a, think of it as like a very large RC car battery is what it is. Uh, is that is like the best probably the one of the best batteries you can get. Anyway, so let's go take a look at the website and see what battery options there are. Um, this will probably be a separate video um, for the dealy. All right, things are out. Okay, so here it is. This is the uh, this is the Lightspeed Bikes website here. My order was 201. Uh, it was placed on here. We go placed on February 4th, and it was updated on March 19th. And then, like I said, I got it today, March 24th. So yeah, it took about five days to ship it. That's 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 exactly what I thought it would. And it and like I said, it has to be shipped by the ground. Okay, they can't ship it by air. Um, so it says the status here is shipped. Um, if if it wasn't ready yet, um, it would say awaiting fulfillment, just like the URT website. Okay, so let's go check out what's on the website. And I'll tell you what stuff that I got and what different options there are for your light speed batteries. So here we got a bunch of batteries, so you can get batteries in all sorts of shapes and sizes and stuff here. But the battery we're looking for, it uses 18650s by the way, but there is a section here for Suron upgrades, all right? That's what you want. So there it is. It looks roughly the same as the one. I don't know. The one doesn't have the. This one doesn't have that big old thing sticking out of the top of it. But let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at it. That's the quick view. I don't want the quick view. I want. Give me the whole whole web page. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's the web page. Supposedly this is what it looks like inside the shell. Um, yeah, and there's a couple other pictures and stuff. Um, so this one. This one has some kind of display on top of it. Mine doesn't have that. Would have been nice to get that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little display thing. Well, I guess I'm going to have to add something like that to mine. That's kind of nice. And yeah, so he's got a, kind of like some dimensions and stuff here. This is what my battery looks like. Okay. In fact, that may be my battery right there. I'm not 100% on that. <laughs> that may very well be my battery right there. I'm not sure. I do like this. I do like. I wish I had the little, the little uh, charger thing here, the the state of charge indicator. But if I have the NXT display, we don't really need it. To tell you the truth, I don't even really use that charger thing. Um, if I could just look down on the handlebar to see to see what my state of charge is, that's good enough for me. But anyway, so here it is. 72 volt Suron rebuild drop in. So I'm gonna go zoom in here a little bit for you guys. So it's a uh, $1,500. $1,500 turns into 1795 real quick. <laughs> so anyway, so this is a, it's the ultimate Suron upgrade. That's why I bought it, man. Um, and so here you got. So here's like kind of the basic specs here. You got a 20 series, 10 parallel, uh, 72 volt, 30 amp hour using a Sony VTC6 18650 cells. Now I'm not really a big, I'm not really in the know about 18650 batteries, man, but I guess Sony makes pretty good 18650 batteries. Um, also, you can request a Samsung 30Q upon request. I don't know, I, I would go, what do you want? You want Japanese batteries or you want Korean batteries? So to you, I don't think there's any difference, but I, I don't know. I don't know anything about Sony. Um, does Sony really make good batteries? <laughs> It's a good question. Uh, I do know Samsung makes good batteries because they make phones and stuff. Um, so 200 amp continuous over 300 amp peak and it has a 50 amp Bluetooth BMS for charging with dual temp sensors. So yeah, it has all that stuff like the Suron battery has. Real-time balancing 
Um, so it'll balance your, your batteries all the time. Fully programmable parameters, um, including the ability to set high voltage cutoff. Uh, oh, okay. So you can put as high volt. You can you can put uh, you can put voltage cutoffs and stuff through the BMS. It says this battery does bypass the BMS for discharge. So that means you can run it as hard as you if, as you can, you know, pretty much. And it says the option is made. This option is made to work hand in hand with ERT tuned ASI BSC controllers from ElectricCRT.com. And then the NXT display is made to monitor and protect the battery from over discharge. So I've actually kind of I, I actually got to check that today on the Soron battery. It will not like it's pretty good at at managing you know thing. I never hit. Yeah, so so I had I I actually tested the limits of the Suron battery today. Oh, like a couple of days ago, I had to actually push the bike home. It was it was horrible. <laughs> but but uh like, yeah, it would like when it got to 50 volts, it would just like you know slow down a lot, and then at some point it would just stop. It would just die, um, and it wouldn't just suddenly die. It would just kind of just just kind of fizzle out. And that I believe that's what the BAC controller is doing. It's trying to protect the battery. Um, uh, but the battery does have a BMS on it, and it will just totally cut the power off once it gets to a certain threshold. So um, I think the BSC 2000 is a little more conservative than than the one that's on the battery. So I, I don't think I don't know if the Suron X controller has anything like that. I, I think it may just rely on the BMS for that. I'm not sure. So anyway, so if you're not using the ERT software, you're gonna have to monitor your um, your voltage and all that stuff with the Bluetooth app. Uh, I don't know how to use that yet. So, also it says this, use the 8060 uh, 876 rule. So 80 80 is full. So this is where I learned as 80 is full charge, 70 is in the middle, and 60 is getting low. Um, 60 is the absolute zero. Um, cell spec is 2.5 per cell. So 50 volts is actual low voltage cutoff. Okay, so. So they're saying like uh, don't go lower than 60 volts, um, but the low voltage cutoff is at 50. So I, I don't know I don't know which where <laughs> I don't know which one we're supposed to be, we're supposed to use right, uh, but you definitely want to keep an eye on your voltage and don't go below try not to go below 60 volts is what I'm saying. Uh, but I think the the BAC controller should be able, should do that for you. Um, I've kind of seen it do it so. Um, oh yeah 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 so yeah you have to actually that's why you have to actually program the the BSC controller to tell it like hey those are the those are the limits because uh, I don't think you want to use 50 don't use 50 that it says 50 on the on the sticker on the battery but don't don't use 50 <laughs> you're supposed to you're supposed to be 60 60 is dead I don't know um, so these are the these are the cell options uh, you can use the Sony VTC cells um oh these are other okay I, these weren't here when i ordered the battery by the way um this is a 36 36 amp hour battery right here um it's got two extra parallel it's got yeah it's got extra extra goodies in it that's for sure um this one is a 42 amp hour lg battery i wonder how much those are um and then there's a jumbo version there's one that's a, a little bit longer than stock um, but you can't you can um, the battery door is uh, you have to modify your battery door because it won't fit anymore. And I I would like to have secure my battery because that's like the most expensive part on the bike. So <laughs> um, so all the batteries are handmade. Um, yeah, it's high quality stuff, man. Uh, other connectors are available upon request, but I highly suggest using the OAS 8 with its anti-spark along with the provided adapter 6mm battery plug. Oh yeah, that's if you want a different connectors and stuff. Um, so it says 3 week lead time from the date of order. So so you should get you should have it shipped out to you in like 3 weeks. In my case it was like 7 weeks, but had all this craziness happen so uh, and so it's now available with a drop-in 1 8 polycarbonate side panels rubber marine shrink finish so there you go please allow two weeks lead time for fabrication of case okay so that so you have the battery and then the the case so the case takes time to make also so everything's all custom made so
Um, okay, these are these are the options that you can choose for the battery right here when you order it. Um, so if uh, if you're not gonna give them, if you're not gonna use the stock uh, Soron battery, um, you, you can you can have them rebuild your pack. You can take the old cells out and put new ones in. And um, but uh, but if you're gonna order a second battery, you need to do a drop-in battery. So you would have to get one of those. So that's an extra hundred dollars. And then this are the charger options. Mine was a 72 volt, two to 12 amp adjustable charger for the Soron upgrade. So, so these are the two options that I picked. These two right here. Okay. It has a picture of it right there. Um, and then there's a 72 volt, four amp waterproof charger, um, a 55 volt, two amp USB. On the bar charger, oh, so I guess maybe the one I have isn't very weather resistant. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay, man. Uh, just don't charge it in the rain, I guess. Um, there's a five volt, two amp USB handlebar charger mount. Um, there's a 72 volt, 6.5 amp LCD charger, and then there's a upgrade to 300 amp ANT BMS non bypass. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Um, and then there's the long range 72, 52, 52.5 amp hour. Holy moly. It's almost double, double the range. Yeah. Double the, double the power. So, and then there was this, uh, big power 72 volt, 45 amp hour Sony VTC cell. So, um, I don't know which one, if, I don't know if you have to modify, I think you got to modify the battery door for this. Um, so I don't know. But I hey, Mega doesn't have an extra five hundred dollars to to make a bigger battery, so it would be nice to have a longer range battery. But you know, it's like well, it's gonna be bigger and heavier. You know, I think if you yeah, if you really if you're gonna do some kind of endurance kind of riding, then then yeah, well, you figure like a it's almost twice as much uh, like capacity as a stock battery, so so you probably can go. 50 60 miles so on the light B that's a uh, that your booty's going to be hurting really bad <laughs> after 60 miles on the light B seat I'll tell you that all right so so there it is that that's the website that's the options like I said it took me about 7 weeks to get it and I still have not got the NXT display and I ordered that before I ordered the batteries all right so that that is the um, that's the stuff that Hades Omega ordered. I ordered it through the website here, and those are the different options. They have a little. There's a little more options than when I first ordered, so they must have added some new stuff like the bigger batteries and stuff. But I don't have money for that anyway. So, um, but this is what I got. I got the Polycarb case because I didn't give him my stock battery, and um, I think it's worth it because because uh, then you would have to ship your battery over to him too. So and that, that would cost a lot of money too. Um, and then there's a 72 volt uh, charger for Suron upgrade. That's the one I got. I bought the most expensive charger though, so I, I really wanted that variable charge rate, um, so I could charge like you know different places and stuff. Or if I could, I could dual charge. I could charge two batteries at once. You know, um, that's what I'm gonna say. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. That's uh, that's the dealie.